Alabama game. Cause we always hit the nail on the head. So check this out, my Miami Hurricane fans. <laughs> now, I'm looking a little rough, man. I'm moving, I'm moving, okay? I ain't had time to get my hair done. We've been unpacking, packing, and doing all that good stuff. But anyways, man, let me bring this to y'all. I know this is not much Miami related. This is more um, Nick Saban and Jimbo Fisher related. But Jimbo got some balls, man. Jimbo got some balls. Now, Jimbo was doing a little radio press event, whatever you want to call it. And basically, the question was asked, what is he going to do about Alabama? How's he going to get over the hump of beating Alabama? Is um, is he going to beat Alabama when Nick Saban is retired and gone? And Jimbo, boy, old oh, Jimbo. You know that Jimbo Fisher, boy. The same one that left Florida State in a sham. The same one that up and ran from Florida State after he won a championship with them and left the program to Willie Tiger. Now Norville. Damn, how do you go from um Jimbo Fisher to Willie Taggart to no never, never mind. Anyway, <laughs> so Jimbo plain out said that he ain't waiting for Nick Saban to retire. He gonna beat Nick Saban's ass while Nick Saban is at Alabama. Now, Jimbo versus Nick Saban. It has not been pretty. Trust me, it has not been pretty between the two. Nick Saban is 3-0 against Jimbo Fisher at Texas A&M. And I'm talking about some blowouts. <laughs> it, it, none of the games have been close. Okay. None of them. So I don't know where Jimbo, what, I don't know what they put in Jimbo's coffee. Or nonetheless, man. But anyway, I, I like it though. I like it. Never be, a, never be scared of your opponent. I like the, I like the confidence and everything. Now, I must say this, Manny Diaz, we play Alabama the first game. Now, I don't expect you to come out and say nothing like this because I think you're more of a humble guy. You're more of a talk after the game. And even after the game, I don't think you talk a lot of trash. Manny is not a trash talker. But, boy, can y'all imagine. Hurricane fans, let me know how y'all feel if Manny Diaz were to come out and say, hey, Nick Saban, September 4th, we going to beat your ass. We going to beat Alabama into the ground. We ain't scared of you bitches. Can you imagine? I mean, I said it, but can you imagine Manny Diaz saying that? Can you imagine Manny Diaz coming at Nick Saban, you know, pumping this thing up, getting everybody all hyped and ready for this? Can y'all imagine that? How many of y'all Canes fans would say Manny is crazy? I know a lot of you scaredy cat Canes fans would be like, no, Manny, don't give him no motivation, Manny. Don't um don't pump up Nick Saban to beat us worse than he probably already is. Really, nigga? We got a chance in this game. We we can win this game. I believe we're gonna win this game. Now, Manny saying something like Jimbo Fisher, I don't see that happening. I don't see Manny Diaz. I don't think it's in his character. <laughs> Man, I gotta admit though, I kinda do hope that Jimbo do beat um Alabama but at the same time I kind of hope not at the same time because as you guys know right now Alabama is pretty much the powerhouse of the SEC you don't want two monsters some of y'all probably like well they already got two monsters TY they already got two monsters they got Georgia, Georgia is not a monster stop it Georgia ain't beating nobody Georgia can barely beat Florida and Tennessee and Vanderbilt and South Carolina Okay, so don't put Georgia in the conversation. Georgia is not. <laughs> Georgia is not a monster. Okay, Georgia Bulldogs are Chihuahuas. Leave leave that alone. I don't I don't expect to see Kirby Smart coming out and talking trash because he know he can't back it up. He can't even pick a, a quarterback. Okay, but anyway, man, Jimbo Fisher, man, the balls on this guy. Let me know what y'all think, man. <laughs> did Jim did Jimbo sign a um? A death wish for Texas A&M, or do y'all think he'll um, back up those words? Do y'all think Jimbo Fisher is gonna beat Nick Saban's ass? Now Dan Mullen, I know Dan Mullen probably sitting back watching, like, damn, Jimbo beat me to the punch. I was gonna say we was gonna beat the dog out of him. 
who you is gonna be the one to knock off Nick Saban? <laughs> All the Florida fans probably like, no, Dan Mullen, don't do it. We ain't ready, not this season. We completely toe down from the floor, flow up, flow down, up down, whatever. They like, hey, put on your Dark Vader suit, um, Dan Mullen, and hide. Don't say nothing. Don't be a part of this. <laughs> oh, man. How many coaches in college football right now you think can call out um, Nick Saban? Probably got a handful. Don't say Ryan Day from Ohio State because we already seen what happened in Ohio State in the championship, okay? It wasn't even close. It wasn't even close. You got beat down in Miami, in the Hard Rock Stadium, by the way, where the Miami Hurricanes play. Um, yeah, so Ohio State, don't say nothing. Oklahoma, definitely don't say nothing. Your coach, don't say nothing. Stay out of it. This is not your fight. Do not call out Nick Saban. Who, who else is a contender? Um, I mean, Dabo, Dabo Sweeney, he might could talk a little trash. I, I think Dabo's the only one that gets some room right now to talk some trash to Nick Saban because he has beat him when it counts. Yes, he has. So, Jimbo Fisher, the balls, the balls. Damn, damn Florida State. So, this is what y'all lost in Jimbo Fisher. This is what you lost in Jimbo Fisher, a guy with some balls. Now you got Mike Norvell up there who, to be honest with you, don't know what he's doing, can't develop players. He getting, he getting players to commit to decommit. The transfer portal is full of Florida State guys. I think um only two of them left right now that has not been um, signed to a team. Uh, I think in Warren, Tom, Warren Thomas and um, what's the other guy? Finn, Finn or something like that. Yeah, those two have not been um, signed to nobody. They hit the portal from Florida State, and they haven't signed to a team yet. Warren Thomas is a four-star uh, wide receiver, but <laughs> Nick Saban. I wonder what Nick Saban's sitting back thinking right now. Jimbo Fisher, the guy that I owned for the past three years, is calling me out, saying he's going to beat my ass. Hmm. Should I bully him again this season? Should I knock him out? Like, other than Jimbo Fisher, who else in the ACC, not ACC, I'm sorry, the SEC, can challenge Nick Saban? Don't, like I said, don't say Kirby Smart because he ain't ready. Don't say Dan Mullen, he ain't ready. And other than those two, other than the Gators and, and Georgia, Texas A&M is the only one up there. Um, LSU's, well... They're rebuilding. They say they reload, but obviously we saw what happened last season. They rebuilding. But like I said, man, I don't see Manny talking no trash. So I'll do all the trash talking for Manny. Alabama, we're going to whoop y'all ass.